The town of Cedar Falls is equally shocked and devastated. As you walk down Main Street, you'll find people are still coming to terms with the tragedy that took three lives. That's so sad that it happened to someone in our community. Walking down Main Street, you'll find plenty of people who knew the Schmitz, and those who didn't also saddened by three innocent people losing their lives on a camping trip at Makoka to Cave State Park. It's scary because you go there to have a good time with your family and then someone comes in and does that to you. Sarah Schmidt worked at the Cedar Falls Public Library. Outside the building, there's artwork memorializing Tyler, Sarah, and six-year-old Lula, wrapping their names in a heart with the words, gone too soon, but always in our hearts. Nine-year-old Arlo Schmidt survived the attack that killed his mom, dad, and little sister. He's changed. His life has changed. He's changed forever. I feel so bad for him. I just can't imagine the life he's going to, you know, grow up like what the trauma. A GoFundMe for Arlo has raised more than $200,000, but nobody can wrap their heads around the pain he and the Schmitz loved ones are feeling. The Schmitz would often visit Main Street themselves, stopping into Main Street Suites. Owner Tia Davis finds it hard to believe she won't be seeing their smiling faces anymore. I don't think it's anything you ever really get over. Memories are now just memories. For Arlo and the Schmitz loved ones, years of making new ones taken from them on a summer camping trip. What is your, your message to them during this time? Um, just how sorry the whole community is and just for them to know that we are all there to support them and help in any way to help them help Arlo, to help Arlo to get through this. In Cedar Falls, Scott Carpenter, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.